Alright guys, welcome to your 24th tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use multiple animations and I'm going to make it really simple for you guys and show you guys how to achieve some amazing effects using just CSS3, no JavaScript, no PHP, none of that crap. So the first thing I want to do is actually clear both of these things out. The hover box, which is going to happen whenever we roll over our box and also might as well get rid of this whole thing except block. So, okay, of course it's a block, and I'm going to be animating basically everything, so let me adjust my chair, save this, and we're good to go. So right now, we had that thing, not very exciting. So the very first thing I want to do is, since we're going to be rotating this, I want to set the margin to 150. I think it was 50 before. So I'm just going to put margin 150 pixels auto that's going to center in the screen and move it down 150. And I also want to change the color of the text. I think it was black before and there we go that's good right there and now I might as well give it rounded corners too because those square corners are not very appealing this is like the web 2.0 baby rounded corners for life so webkit if you remember this border radius I believe that's how you spell radius and I'm just gonna give it at like 10 pixels might as well that seems good to me Whoa, two W's in www.webkit.com? Don't think so. All right, so the very first thing we want to do is we want to set all the original properties. Now, the first property that I'm going to be animating is opacity. And I'm just going to set this to 0 0.6. Now, you don't use like any 0 0.6 pixels or anything. It's just 0 0.6. So that's going to make it like kind of transparent. Now I want to set the background color. We'll just give it something simple like red and we'll be animating it into a, a nice blue color. So that I want something, you know, not like blue and green because that's kind of close in color. Now I'm going to set the original width. Now the width, I'm just going to go ahead and set this as something small like 120 pixels and we'll go ahead and we'll grow that later as well as the height. So the height is going to be 75. So this is pretty much an average sized button of 120 by 75 pixels. And if we go ahead and look at it right now, we can see that, okay, that's our button. When you roll over it, nothing happens. Rounded corners, white text, yada, 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 all that good stuff. So now what I want to do is I want to set the animation on all the things we're going to animate. So remember, whenever working with animations, we write WebKit. I need to shut up while I type this transition. Hopefully I spelled that wrong. <laughs> oh man, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna animate is in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and write all the properties of the things we're gonna change. We're gonna change WebKit, transform like before, and we need to write the time of each animation individually. So we're going to transform, we're going to rotate this just like before and that's what transformation I'm going to use. Um, we're also going to be changing the opacity and that transition is going to take two seconds. We're going to change the background color and that's going to take two seconds and we're going to change the width of the button and that's going to take two seconds. Everything's going to take two seconds by the way and the height whenever you change that, that should take two seconds. Now, with that being said, let me make sure I got all my commas in the right place before I fudge this up. All right. So now that we have all the things that we want to animate, we want to say, okay, whenever we hover over it, how do we want to animate them or how do we want them to change? Well, if we just use a little copy and paste technique, we can save ourselves some time. Oh, I just got like a dry hairball in my throat. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to transform this piece. Now the transformation we want to do, and you don't have to do yours exactly as mine, you can, you know, mess it up a little bit, but I'm just going to rotate mine 360 degrees, and this is going to spin it in a full circle. Now the next thing we animated is opacity. So if you copy this and paste it, the original value was 0.6, and I just want to change this, we'll just give it a simple opacity 1, which I believe is the uh, default. And now we want to change what was next, the background. So we'll give it a background of, uh, let me use a cool color that I know of. We'll give it a hexadecimal decimal value, 1 EC 7 E6. Don't even ask me how I know that, but I do. And um, the width, uh, we need to make it wider. So for width, we'll give it something like 450. That should show up nice on my screen recorder. A lot bigger and for the height we'll just make it 
slightly larger. We'll give it like a value of 110 pixels, and I forgot to put pixels up here. Let me just make sure. Pixels, pixels, red. Okay, everything looks good to go right now. So remember, whenever you work with your transition or animation, make sure you go through and you have all these things that you changed. So whenever you click it, you should have one highlighted on top and bottom. See width, top and bottom, height, top and bottom. You see what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's go ahead and refresh this and hover over it and see what we get. How awesome is that? So let me go ahead and talk to you guys about all the things I animated. First of all, it's rotating. We can clearly see that. The opacity is changing, although that may be a little hard to tell. So let's concentrate on the background, the width, and the height. Now whenever we roll over this, you can see the background obviously changes. Now look at the width and the height of the button right now. The height doesn't change that much, so it may be kind of subtle, but the width definitely changes. So all of those things, I assure you, are indeed animating. So that is the beauty of CSS3 and how you can make awesome button effects. And if you look at this, check it out. Before we would need to have some JavaScript code in there and you know a bunch of functions and you know another scripting language and it got to be a whole mess. But how amazingly simple is this where you can just say, okay, this is what I want to start at, this is what I want to end at, and I'm just telling you how long to animate it right there. It is so easy, even a caveman could do it. So uh, with that being said, that is how you animate very simple animations that you can actually make very awesome looking animations when you combine them using CSS3. So with that being said, don't forget to check out my website. I just updated it with all my new stuff and uh, it's thenewboston.org. So go check it out. Tell me guys what you think. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.